Welcome to HDFC Securities 5 Minute Market Wrap Up for the week ended 1st December 2023, your weekly guide to all the key events in the equity markets. In key macroeconomic news, India's GDP grew by 7.6% year on year in the second quarter of FY24 compared to 6.2% in the second quarter of FY23. The growth was far ahead of analyst expectations of 6.8% growth. US GDP grew at an annual rate of 5.2% quarter on quarter in the second quarter of calendar year 2023. This was far ahead of the flash estimates of 4.9% growth. US personal consumption expenditure index rose by 3% year on year in October against 3.4% a month ago. Core PCE also rose 3.5% lowest since April 2021. Eurozone inflation also fell to 2.4% in November from 2.9% in October. Core inflation in the Eurozone fell to 3.6% from 4.2% in the same period. So inflation across the developing world continues to fall. Global growth is set to moderate from 2.9% in calendar 2023 to 2.7% next year as per an estimate by the OECD. Nifty rose on all the four trading days to end up by 2.4% higher for the week. Broader markets also did well. Both the mid-cap and small-cap indices are now up close to 10% over the last 30 days. In key sectoral performers this week, BSE Oil and Gas and BSE Power indices both rose by about 5.7%, lifted by strong demand and results. None of the sectors gave negative returns this week. In select market news during the week, shares of Adani Gas were up about 30% after the Supreme Court reserved its verdict on allegations made by Hindenburg against Adani Group companies. Shares of Astra DM Healthcare jumped 20% after the company approved sale of its GCC business to a private equity company for $1.01 billion. A fire broke out in the Surat plant of Ether Industries, which left six people dead and one missing. Shares of Ether Industries fell 10.5% during the week. Shares of Solar Industries fell 8% this week, most likely on profit booking. Remember, the shares are up 65% over the last six months. In FII activity this week, FII is bought with 10,600 crores of Indian equities in cash. FII is turned net buyers in November. Remember, over the past three months, they have sold an average of 20,000 crores of equities in cash. DIIs continue to be net buyers, buying rupees 4,300 crores of equities in cash. US markets continued their strong rally. Over the last 30 days, the S&P 500 is up 8.5% and the Nasdaq Composite is up 9.5%. In this section, we discuss select reports published by the HDFC Securities research teams. These research reports can be accessed on our website at the link shown in the presentation. Our team initiated coverage on Sai Silk Kala Mandas with target price of Rs. 385. The company plans to use IPO proceeds of Rs. 566 crores to expand the Vara Mahalakshmi format in Tamil Nadu. We expect a 40% PAT CAGR over FY23 to FY26. Our target price implies a 26 times September 25 price earnings ratio. Our institutional equities team published their equity strategy report this week. In the September quarter, lower input costs lifted up earnings for Indian companies. Energy, auto and lending financials contributed the most to incremental year-on-year earnings. On the other hand, staples, metals, chemicals, IT and consumer discretionary sectors disappointed. We believe that the benefit of commodity cost deflation is largely over and now future earnings growth will have to be volume led. The Nifty is currently trading at 20.3 times FY24 and 17.6 times FY25 consensus EPS, which appears fair and the risk reward is balanced. We remain underweight on consumer staples and discretionary metals, chemicals and small banks. Our retail research team had published a note in April 2023 on NRB bearings with a bull case fair value of Rs 163. In an update note presented this week, our team has increased the base case fair value to Rs 293. Our team expects a revenue and PAT growth of 12% and 20% CAGR over FY23 to FY26. That is all for this week. Please refer to the detailed disclaimer on your screen. 
Please note that the security is discussed in the presentation for education and information purposes only. Thank you.